Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to continue working on games in general form, this time with Battle of the Sexes. So, if you'll recall, we had this matrix originally. The story is that a man and a woman are trying to coordinate on their form of entertainment for the evening. The man wants to go see the fight and the woman wants to go see the ballet, but they both rather going together to somewhere than end up being alone. And that gives us those payoffs. But now we're going to find the general solution to this game using the rule that A is greater than B is greater than C is greater than or equal to zero. And we see that there. And by now, you should be able to readily see that fight, fight, and ballet, ballet are both pure strategy Nash equilibria. The remaining question is whether there will be a mixed strategy equilibrium. And to find out whether or not there is, we use the same mixed strategy algorithm that we've been working on for quite some time. So let's solve for the man's mixed strategy. To do that, we ask ourselves what is the woman's utility for going to a fight as a function of some mixed strategy, the man's. As always, some percentage of the time, the woman gets B, and the rest of the time she gets C. And the last bullet point has the mathematical notation for that. And now we do the same thing for the woman always going to the ballet. Some percent of the time she gets C, and the rest of the time she gets A. And we take those two equations and set them equal to each other and solve for sigma. So here are those two equations. And you can see now that I've set them equal to each other. And now we're going to begin solving for sigma. I begin by distributing the C and the A. And then we group the figures with sigma on one side and the rest with the other. Again, this is standard when solving for unknowns. Then we pull out the sigma and divide by A plus B minus 2C. And that's our answer. A minus C over A plus B minus 2C. But before we are done, we have to make sure that this is going to be a valid mixed strategy. And remember our rules. No event can occur with negative probability, and no event can occur with a probability greater than 1. So first, the mixed strategy must be at least 0. We know that our numerator is going to be positive, because A is greater than C. So for the fraction to be positive, A plus B minus 2C must be positive as well. And that's what I've noted here. And now I've done some tricky rearranging to show you that this is always going to be positive. We've already agreed that a minus c is greater than zero, so the left side of this the left side of this inequality is positive. And we also know that c is less than b, so c minus b is always going to be negative. Thus, the left side is positive and the right side is negative. Since a positive number is always greater than a negative number, this inequality holds. Now we have to see if this is always going to be less than one as well, less than or equal to one rather. Now we know the denominator is always positive, so we can multiply both sides of the equation by it without having to flip the inequality. And we see that here. Now all we have to do is some algebra, and by subtracting by a and adding 2c to both sides, we are left with c is less than or equal to b. And because c is less than b, this inequality holds as well. Thus we have three equilibria. In pure strategies, both players go to the fight, or they both go to the ballet. And in mixed strategies, each player goes to their preferred entertainment venue with probability A minus C over A plus B minus 2C. And that's the end of the game.